Long ago, the giant Carlon tree, the essence of balance and order in the world, withered and died. By the will of the heavens, the world was cleaved in two. Many years later, the Chosen of Regeneration planted a new world tree to take the place of the withered giant Carlon tree. The birth of the new world tree also brought about the unification of Silverant and Tetha Ala. The two worlds were now reborn as one. The world was at the dawn of a bright new era, or so it seemed. With their high level of technological prowess, the Tetha Alan civilization looked down upon the people of Silverant as barbarians. The Silveranti blamed the Chosen of Regeneration for bringing this world into being, as they turned their backs on the Church of Martel that supported her. Amidst all of this chaos, the world itself began to cry out. Scorching hot deserts were blanketed with snow. Bountiful lakes dried up and withered. Forests burned to ash as glaciers melted into the sea. These phenomena fanned the flames of dissatisfaction within the hearts of the people, leading to the birth of a monster. A resistance organization was formed by the oppressed people of Silverant to defend themselves. United against the perceived evils of Tetha Allah and the Church of Martel, they called themselves the Silveranti Liberation Front, the Vanguard. This way! Hurry! <laughs> yes. Emil, hurry! We must get away or we'll all be killed by Lloyd! Who did you say is going to kill you? Lloyd Irving! The people of Paul Macosta have aided the Vanguard and undermined the authority of the Church of Martell and the Chosen. The punishment for this crime is death! <laughs> Emil! Run! Get away from here!
Help me. Help me, Ratatosk. Are you all right? Are you the one who saved me? Tenebrae's howl. I have to go. Wait, what's your name? Emil, you came back. Oh dear, I can't even see your face. I, I'm not going to last much longer. But you, you have to live. You have to run before Lloyd comes back. Go to Lewin, to your Aunt Flora. Hurry. <laughs> Mom. I feel like I've heard it before. Maybe it's just my imagination. Good morning, Aunt Flora. That how? Monsters have been going down into the lake bed since dawn! I I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Uh, um... Despicable child, always so indecisive. You're hardly like Lana at all. You must take after Raysol. I'm sorry. There's that howl again. It sounds like it's coming from the Fountain Plaza.
Lloyd. Hey, Emil, we saw that. Bow to Lloyd the Great. I... I already did. No, no you, you didn't. didn't. You don't like Lloyd the Great, do you? That's why you're trying to destroy our city. Because Lloyd restored it to its former beauty. Wh what are you talking about? Don't, don't act dumb. dumb. Ever since you came here, Lake Sanoa's dried up and there are more monsters. You're planning on getting your monster friends to attack the town, aren't you? Uh, of course not. Okay, then prove it. What? Swear your allegiance to Lloyd the Great right now. If you do that, then we'll believe you. Come, Come on, on, let's, let's hear, hear it. it. I swear allegiance to Lloyd the Great. We can't hear you. What was that? Say it a little louder. I swear allegiance to Lloyd the Great. We still can't hear you. Hey, are you trying to make a fool out of Lloyd the Great or something? Have you forgotten that Lloyd is the hero who saved our town? You think Lloyd is a hero, but that's not true. He attacked Palma Costa. He killed both my parents. He's a cold-blooded murderer. We heard that. So that's how you really feel, huh? No, that's not what I meant to say. Shut up, you monster! We'll teach you a lesson! Uh! Get lost. <sighs> Who the hell are you? I said go. Oh, I am. You, you are. Uh, yes. Oh, what is it? Never mind. You know, you should stand up for yourself. I... I was too scared to even thank him for that. Maybe that's why I haven't been able to make any friends. I... I wish I had friends, but I guess... I guess that'll never happen. Never mind. You know, you should stand up for yourself. Stand up for myself? He's right. I should thank him for helping me out the way he did. That's what I'll do.
What is it? Maybe this was a bad idea. If you've got nothing to say, then I've got something to ask you. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So they said that your name is Emil. Well, Emil, have you seen a girl around here with a red jewel on her forehead? What? Uh, I, um... N no, sir. What are you so nervous about? Uh, I, uh... Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. Huh? Their words, a human with a few screws loose, said long ago. When you refused to swear allegiance to Lloyd, didn't you feel courage welling up inside of you? Those who would grovel and beg, or run away at the first sight of another's anger, are dogs, or even worse. Are you a dog? Or are you really a man? I... I'm... Uh... <laughs> Just try to do your best to be a man, Emil. Courage, the magic that turns dreams into reality. I'm not a monster. I need to stand up like a human being. Sounds like it's coming from the lake bed. What should I do? I want to know what it is, but I'd be leaving town to go down there. Aunt Flora will get mad if I leave without permission. like monsters are calling me. It's because of stuff like this that make people say it's my fault that monsters keep appearing. I've got to ignore it. It's just my imagination. But it's so hard to ignore. That guy was really amazing. Are you a dog or are you really a man? I could never say anything like that to someone. They'd only get angry at me. Wait, maybe I should have gotten angry at him. If I want to go to the Sanoa Lake bed, I need to leave town. I've never gone outside town on my own. W wonder if I'll be all right. Mom, please make sure I don't run into any monsters. What is it? Is something wrong? Uh, Uncle Abba. <laughs> what do you want? Get the hell out of here, you little nuisance. I'm sorry. Always getting in the way. Just go home and stay out of trouble. Just the sight of you puts the whole town in distress. 
Forget about the Vanguard-loving Brad Alba. Did something happen? Monsters I've never seen before showed up in Lake Sanoa's lake bed. Several members of the City Watch are down. W what? I'm going to gather reinforcements. Go tell the mayor what happened. Right! That howl again. If I go now, I could make it down to the lake bed. But everyone will get mad at me. Those who would grovel and beg, or run away at the first sight of another's anger, are dogs, or even worse. I'll go. I'm not a dog. I'm a human being. What should I do? I've made it this far, but... yet are you gonna fight with me or run um uh... come on you're a man speak up courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality huh their words a human with a few screws loose said long ago when you refused to swear allegiance to lloyd didn't you feel courage welling up inside of you I'll fight. Okay, then I'll leave the front line to you. Ah! <laughs> 
good work. It's pretty dangerous here, so you should probably get going. Hey, it's you! Huh? What do you mean? You don't... you don't remember me, do you? Maybe I'm wrong, but you look just like him. Well, what are you talking about? It's nothing, never mind, I'm sorry. Anyway, you should leave here as soon as you can, okay? Uh, wait a minute! Yes, what is it? I'm in a hurry. I wanted to thank you for saving me. My name's Emil. So, um, what's your name? I'm Marta. Is that it? it? If it's dangerous here, then maybe you should leave too. If things get dangerous, will you save me again? But you were the one who was kind enough to save me. <laughs> you don't remember, do you? I'm sorry to confuse you, but I really have to get going. Take care of yourself, Emil. A red jewel on her forehead. So they said that your name is Emil. Well, Emil, have you seen a girl around here with a red jewel on her forehead? Maybe Marta is the girl with the jewel that that man was looking for. I should probably let him know. Little, what are you doing here? I'm sorry. You just have to go out of your way to cause trouble. Thanks to your little grudge against Lloyd the Great, there are rumors that our family's secretly supporting the Vanguard. Go home and keep your mouth shut. Ugh, when I get home, so help me. I wonder if that guy is still in town. He'll probably be happy if I tell him about that girl Marta. It's strange, though. She seemed like she knew me. Have I met her before? I think I'd remember a cute girl like her. She must be confusing me with someone else. Yeah, must be.